So I'm going to be doing a Q&A as well. I'm gonna be answering some questions you guys asked on Instagram. And I'm gonna answer the questions while I'm playing 2K, so. If you're one of the homies and you know how to play 2K, and you know how serious it gets, so it's gonna be very uh, intense answering these questions, to say the least. All right, let me set this up real quick. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these questions. All right, so question number one from all him. What kind of water do you use to water your plants? The water we use is, uh, we use Brita water. So we use the tap water, but the Brita water um, filters, or the Brita filter filters it out. So I guess we use Brita water. And Plants Erie asked sneakers or plants, pick one. Um, Oh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, plants and houseplant care tips. We have a bunch of videos on YouTube about houseplant care tips, so go ahead and check those out. And if you have any specific questions about any specific plant, hit me on the DM and I'll see if I can answer. What was your first plant? My first plant um, in particular was uh, Diffenbeckia dumb cane. We got it from Home Depot and um, it's no longer with us now. Officially Hayden X asked summer or winter? Um, I'm gonna say summer because I enjoy the outdoors and but I also enjoy enjoy the cold so I don't know I'm kind of torn but I would if I had to choose I would say summer. Um, Fiddle and Palm said, I'm getting a ghost plant and I need some tips, pretty please. Um, I don't know what a ghost plant is. I don't know if you're speaking of the, um, the Forbia or the Florida ghost. And if you're talking about the Florida ghost, I have no idea. Um, I don't have one of those, although I do want one. And if you're talking about the Euphorbia, um, just put it in some sun. L Trap Lord Yurquiza asked, what's wrong with my majesty palm? How often to water? Uh, I don't know what's wrong with your majesty palm because we don't have any pictures or anything like that. But if it's a palm tree, I'm assuming that it needs more lighting, um, more humidity and water whenever the soil is dry to touch. And Xavier is active said, what has been the greatest life, well, what has been the greatest lesson you've learned in life so far? Um, that would be just to do it. Um, any, any, uh, anything you wanna do in life, just do it. I know that's like cheesy and corny, a lot of people say that, but seriously, just do it. Like don't have any doubts because once you start doubting is, you know, when things get stagnant and nothing's gonna ever happen that way. So um, I would truly just say, just do it. Uh, do as much re research as you can um, and just make it happen. Hi Jody Latihera asked, you got any native plant favorites? Cali native. Uh, I do not know any uh, native Cali plants. Um, so unfortunately I do not. And AJ Sanchez, which just so happens to be my niece, shout out to her. And actually um, she has a YouTube as well. so. Uh, follow her YouTube, subscribe to her YouTube, and she has some dope content. So she asked like 12 questions. Um, we'll go with the first one. The first one is, what's your favorite food place in Cali? Um, so I've never been everywhere in Cali, obviously. So I would say in LA or Burbank is uh, Jinya Ramen. I love ramen. Me and Plant Lady P both love it. So I would definitely say Jinya. Um, how did you and Plant Lady P meet and how? Wait, when did you and Plant Lady P meet and how? Um, you would have to head to her uh, Q&A uh, video to go ahead and know that answer. Hold on. All right. 
and let the games begin. Jump ball just started. I'm uh, playing center. This is the my career mode. I'm playing center just because it's like a, a dominant position. I like playing it. Um, and you basically can, even though like, of course a point guard controls the game, but a center controls the game as well. What are your thoughts about a specific thing that's going on right now in the world? I don't know if uh, you say this specific trigger word and YouTube demonetizes the video, so I don't want to say it, but my thoughts are stay the hell inside. Favorite era of time? Uh, someone my color wouldn't really want to live in these times, but like, I'm obsessed with the mafia and like the 30s, 40s, 50s, 20s, 20s to 50s were like super fire on camera, looked hella dope. So I would love to uh, live in that time, but not really because uh, it wouldn't be too fun for me. So next question, oh shit. Next question, hold up. All right, let's do this. All right, next question from her is, Favorite old school rapper. Uh, my favorite old school rapper and my favorite rapper of all time just so happen to be the two, the same people. Uh, my favorite old school rapper is gonna be Tupac. So the next question is from Tree Chola and she says, have you ever grew a garden before or any plans to? Um, as of recently, we have not grew a garden, but God damn it, but um, as soon as we get a crib, like a backyard area to go ahead and grow a garden, we definitely will. Uh, Amy Adwan, she said, why do you think people love plants so much? Because plants make people happy and plant care is self care. That's why. Plants are fire, like well, how can you not like plants? You know, like um, a lot of my friends have plants and like, I feel like they don't realize like how big of a community there actually is behind plants. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, it's just something about plants that make literally people happy. Like, it's just like a calming, um, let's go. Oh, God damn it. Um, um, blessing. Uh, yeah, it just makes people happy. Like, it's a peaceful thing. It's lovely to come home to plants like after a long day. Uh, just hanging out with your plants. I don't know. There's something very therapeutic about it. And I'm trying to get to the next question. All right, I got that rebound. All right, next question is uh, Rudy, yes sir, Rudy Garcia Photos. Uh, shout out to Rudy. He said, uh, what got you into plants and what, what what's your favorite plant family? Uh, what got me into plants is um, my dad, uh, he had a lot of cactus uh, when I was growing up. And like, of course, like, I knew what a cactus was and I knew about it. Um, but like, I never really cared for it necessarily until like, I got older. And then once I got older, I appreciated why like, he was always like, trimming them or like just, he was always outside. And um, I never really realized it until I had my own cactus collection and now it makes all the sense in the world. And then his next question is, um, what plant family is your favorite? Um, I would say alopecia or philodendron. I uh, can't go wrong with either of the two. Okay. All right, next question is King Vashti. He or she says, ever seen white worms in your cactus pot? Pick up a white ghost and I'm scared to take it inside. Um, I would also be scared to take a ghost inside. I would never take a ghost inside. Um, but to answer your question, I have never seen a, a white worm in my cactus. Um, but we did see like, I think it, it might've been an earthworm now that I think about it. Um, we had a, or we still have it a uh, silver satin pothos and after taking it home from the nursery it had a uh, worm in it and we realized it and like we freaked out of course because why wouldn't you um and we killed it and um come to find out like i don't know if it's worm like i don't know if this is the same thing but worms and worm uh castings i think is how you say it uh it's actually good for your plant who knew 
I would have never knew, but it's actually good for your plan. But um, to answer your question, no, I have never seen a ghost. Or uh, yeah, I have seen a ghost, but I have never, I've never seen a white worm on my cat. Um, El Trap Lord Yuquiza asks two more questions. Um, low light plans for people who want to start get low light, low light low maintenance plans for people who want to get started with plant parenthood i would say any type of pothos besides a marble queen for because for some reason we even have issues with that i don't know why um so like a, a golden pothos jade pothos um neon pothos those are all hella easy and uh low maintenance um also a snake plant even a cactus um, or it's easy. Those are all super good and easy plants to get into and you'll have a lot of fun maintaining them and seeing them grow. And he also says, how does plant culture and hip hop culture intersect? Um, I don't think it, God damn it, backcourt violation. Um, I don't think it does per se. Um, but like, I kind of feel like that's one of my things to do. That's like my job in a sense, is to um, bridge that gap. Like, of course I know everybody has plants, but like, um, it's not something like that is, uh, I don't know, like brought to light, I guess, no pun intended. But like, I don't know, I feel like that's my job to, you know, let people that look like me know that, you know, it's, hella cool to be into plants um and there's a plant community out there and then also god damn it and then also with my merch or our merch me and plant lady p our mission for that is to like bridge the gap between streetwear and plants um because before like we were just putting out you know like simple designs oh shit yes sir all right simple designs and um we always wanted to like take it a, a, a bit further like the plant mom and plant well actually the thorny was our first one um and then the plant mom and plant dad were our second ones but it was hella simple um and i wanted to do more and i feel like with the plant mom and plant dad that was really the the design that got our foot into the door for merch and um yeah i just feel like uh, by doing that now now knowing that i can sell out of that now I know we can do more than what we're doing. Um, so to answer your question, I don't think it intersects, um, but I feel like that's my job to try to make it happen or try to make it intersect. Next question, Abby Maddie says, with so many plants, how do you keep track of when your plants need to be watered? Um, that's a good question. I can do it one of two ways. Uh, one way is just, Simply, I should, we should, I like, I've seen like people um, have like boards of like their watering days and stuff. And I think that's pretty cool, but we've never done that. But um, one of two ways, either just remembering it off memory. Um, and if I can't remember the last time I watered our plants, that's when we know it's time to water our plants. Um, especially with the cactus, like cactus, you're supposed to water like once every two weeks or once every month, once every month in the winter and once every two weeks during the summer. Um, and then with house plants, either we like just remember off memory, either myself or Plant Lady P will remember. Luckily there's two of us and she's the brains of the operation. Um, God damn it. So um, either she'll remember or I'll remember, or we just simply uh, like go around every single one of our plants Oh my God. We go around every single one of our plants and uh, uh, what's that thing called? We check it with the meter stick. And with the meter stick, if you don't, if anybody watching, if you guys don't have a meter stick, I suggest you get one, especially for the uh, people trying to get into Plant Parenthood. That's a uh, super like easy cheat code for you to do. Flawless, uh, easy way to know when to water. Oh my God. All right, to know when to water your plants. And it's super safe too, uh, but just be careful you don't break anything, like roots or anything like that. All right, um, my jungle room, shout out to my jungle room. She says, wishlist plant or pet peeves, or and pet peeves. Uh, wishlist plant, 
would be a mellow cactus or a, uh, a Florida beauty or Florida ghost and pet peeve, oh, let's go, jump ball. All right, uh, pet peeves would be um, like when you smack your teeth, when you eat, that, I hate that, oh my God. Um, what else? I don't know, like bad drive. I don't know if that's pet peeve with bad driving or bad drivers. Um, but like off the top of my head, that's truly the first one I could think of is like smacking your teeth when you when you eat, um, that's definitely my biggest pet peeve. And A.S. Lance, shout out to A.S. Lance, man. This dude has been supporting us like crazy. So, um, huge shout out to A.S. Lance. Follow him on Instagram. I don't know if he wants you to follow him because it's, it's private, but some y'all gotta do something. Show him some type of love. But he says, um, if you were a plant, which one would you be? As far as like characteristics, I would say a like a pothos. So I'm easy going, easy growing, and low maintenance. Um, so yeah, I'd be a pothos. And he also asked two more questions. Uh, he said, go to drink at the bar. Bruh, I can't wait till we get back to the bar. That would be freaking awesome. Um, I'm a beer connoisseur, so I would go like, you know, any type of, um, uh, like ales, see any type of ales they'll have, or like wheat, um, beers, or even brown ales. Um, yeah, I would, like I, I'll do beer first, um, but if we're talking about like hard liquor, I would say Jamie Ginger. That is like, if y'all haven't done that, get a Jamie Ginger, it'll change your life. Um, what else? I guess like Casamigos and pineapple, can't go wrong with that, but for sure Jamie Ginger. That's definitely one of my first choices uh, if we're talking like that. And he also said, do you believe the West Coast is in fact the best coast? Uh, coming from the East Coast, the South, yeah, the South side of the East Coast, because originally from Florida, um, I would truly say the West Coast is the best coast because it's like a mine F, I don't want to curse, but it's like a, a like, it's mind boggling how like beautiful the West Coast is. Like we have yet to do it. I've always wanted to do it, but like you can literally one day, in one day, drive to the snow and drive to the beach. Like why would you, like how is that even possible? Like that's insane. So one, you got the weather, like it's like Florida weather, except no rain. So it's like, you can't go wrong with that. And we don't gotta worry about hurricanes, but we gotta worry about earthquakes. So it's like pros and cons. Um, and if you guys live in California, especially LA area, if you felt that earthquake, when was it? Wednesday, right? Tuesday night. Tuesday night, if you felt that earthquake, comment down below. We definitely felt it. All right, I'm on the bench now. So um, yes, the West Coast is in fact the best coast. Weather, food, I do miss like Caribbean food, Dominican, Puerto Rican, Colombian, Cuban food, but I'll sacrifice that for everything else. We were be. Be. She wrote three, or she asked three questions. Um, the first question she asked is, what do you love to do on your free time, not plant related? Um, play 2K, anything to do with merch, clothes. Um, hang out with my friends, hang out playing Lady P. We like to uh, like try different places to eat. We're, before this whole thing happened, we were also um, on like a mission once a month, at least once a month, um, trying to go to a different place in California. Uh, we like to go to Palm Springs a lot. So like traveling, I love traveling. Um, what else? I think that pretty much sums it up. Just like, you know, designing clothes, buying clothes. Well, I don't really buy clothes that much. Um, Especially now that like we have a lot of merch, I've just been wearing all our stuff or like vintage like Florida stuff. I love, yeah, that's another thing I love doing is like looking like looking for like vintage Florida stuff, especially like around the eras where I was or um, like I remember or even like 91 when I was born. I love that type of stuff. So um, yeah, that answers the question. Uh, she also asked what plants are on your wish list. I already answered that. Um, 
what plant started the, what is a plant that started your collection? Um, the first plant we had was the Dumb King, but I don't think that really started the collection. It definitely like, you know, um, we, that was our first plant, but I don't know if it started our collection per se. Um, so I would say like a cactus, I forgot, I think it's like a golden barrel cactus. Um, that was our first one, we got it from uh, Rose Bowl Flea Market. And like, it wasn't the same cactus my dad had, but like just knowing that I got a cactus, I'm like, all right. Like it really like, you know, set the tone and like got me emotion of wanting to get more cactus. Um, Debbie Yogi Sky says, top three favorite plants. And do you have success with all your plants? I'll do one better than my top three. Go ahead and watch my top five favorite plants videos. Um, I went over that in like a couple days or a couple of videos ago. I'll go ahead and put the link somewhere up here. And do you have success with all of your plants? Absolutely not. Some die. Uh, for the most part, we have you know a good success rate with our plants, but some of them die as well, and you just can't control it. Uh, she also asked, do you celebrate 420? Where did you meet? Where did you and Plant Lady meet? And any wish list plants for y'all? Um, or any plants on your wish list? Uh, do we celebrate 420? No, we do not. Um, I, we, n neither of us are smokers. Um, and where did you and Plant Lady meet? You'll have to go back to her, um, I'm gonna call it, what's that, Q&A video? and check her answer out and she, uh, that will be your answer and wishlist plants we already covered that below the node bitch <laughs> she asked or i must yeah she asked what is your, what's your favorite plant my favorite plant if we're talking specifically plants like house plants is a philodendron celery uh blah blah 6434 was that a real person um, blah blah 6434 says and actually this is the last one nice alright so he said or she said I don't know what are the best indoor plants for a place that doesn't get a lot of light um, every plant needs a lot of light or low light but even low light is still light um, but if it still gets somewhat amount of light um, I would say like a pothos a snake plant or it's easy that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So that is going to be a wrap for today's video. Thank you to the guys that asked any uh, questions or anything like that on Instagram. Thank you so much for participating. If I answered your question, comment down below. Um, and if you have any other questions, like we should do like a YouTube Q&A maybe. Or a matter of fact, um, to the people that don't follow us on Instagram but are subscribed to us on YouTube, answer the questions or ask questions on there. We'll answer it in another video or something like that. But again, that is a wrap for today's video. Thank you guys who, who participated and we'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm uh, continue to play 2K. Hold up, check my stats real quick. Not bad for uh, multitasking. But all right, that's a wrap for today's video. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.